Hello and welcome to Excel Wednesday. Today I want to show you my top 5 Excel pivot table settings including multiple filters per field, hiding show details, set print title for multi page report, filling empty cells and error values, disconnected pivot table. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get new videos notification. Let's start the video. We have our first pivot table report and we want to filter product name that contains letter P in their spellings. For that, I will click on this filter arrow, select label filter and select contains and type letter P. Press OK and we can see all the product names that contains letter P in their spellings. Another filter I want to apply is I want to extract top two items from product name based on grand total. For that I will again click on this filter arrow, value filter, top 10. I want to extract two items based on sum of total revenue. Press OK. We can see we have received computers but we have received television and television doesn't contain letter P in its spelling. We can also see that pivot table has removed the label filters and keep value filters. That means pivot table by default can apply only one filter type. It can be either label filter, it can be either value filter. What if we want to apply both filters at a time? For that, right click on your pivot table. Go to pivot table options. From the totals and filter tab, check mark allow multiple filters per field. Press OK. Let's clear this filter and again apply same filters. First label filters contains P. Then value filter top 10. We want to extract top two values and press OK. Now we can see we have received computers that contain letter P in its spelling and mobile phone that contains letter P in its spelling. Sometimes we only want to show our pivot table report. We don't want to show the underlying data. That means if I double click on any of the numbers, I can see the underlying data that's populating that number. I want to freeze this option. For that, right click on your pivot table, go to pivot table options, from the data tab, uncheck enable show details, press ok. Now if I click on any number, I can see this message restricting me to get underlying data of this particular number. We have our report and we want to print it, for that, I will click on this print preview and print button available in my quick access toolbar. We can see our pivot table report split on three pages. We are on page one. On page two, I can't see the column headers. To get column headers on all the pages, go to your pivot table, right click, pivot table options, from the printing, check mark, set print titles. Okay. Now let's check out print preview, page 1, page 2 and page 3. In our pivot table report, we can see blank cells. And we want to fill these cells by zero or any text. For that, right click, pivot table options and from the layout and format tab, you will find for empty cells show, let's suppose I am typing zero. Ok, we have our pivot table report and this time we have dates in the row and these dates are group. Right click, group and we can see these dates are grouped by months and days. I want to create another pivot table. For that, analyze, select, entire pivot table, copy and paste. And I want to ungroup dates in this second pivot table. For that, right click and ungroup. Both the tables are showing same effect of ungroup. We can get this task done.
by creating another pivot table cache. For that, go to original dataset, press Alter D P. This will open the pivot table and pivot chart wizard. Select Microsoft Excel list or database. Next, select the range. Next, and this time we want to see on existing worksheet and our worksheet is sheet 2 and we want to create a pivot table besides the second pivot table. Finish. Drag the date to the rows. We have the group. Right click, ungroup. We can see all the dates. Let's check out if I group this first table again. Right click, group, months and days. Okay. We can see the first pivot table and second pivot table are interacting with each other in terms of settings. But the third pivot table that we have created with a new cache is not interacting with pivot table 1 and pivot table 2. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. See you in next tutorial.